Welcome to the Casually Fit Podcast with your host, Nicole. And David. We are just your regular guy. And gal here to talk to you about everything health, fitness, and overall life balance. Because health looks different on everyone. We just ate so much food. Actually, we didn't just... No, we didn't eat a lot of food. We just ate Falafel. very filling food. Yeah. But is it really the holidays if you don't eat a crap ton of food? I know. Oh my gosh. I feel like every day we just like are always so full. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just keep eating so many things. Like we got so much food from Christmas, yeah. which we didn't even like host Christmas here, but we ended up having so much food. A lot of leftovers. Oh my gosh. I think that's like the main thing. It's like okay, leftovers. I feel like and... we can't get through them. It's just uh, like so much. But <laughs> I'm so full right now. I think we're actually almost done them all. So I think so. We're getting there. Anyways, ev- welcome everyone back to the... Ca- welcome. What am I saying? Welcome everyone back... To- what? I can't speak. I know. I've taken too That's many a- days off. <laughs> welcome everyone ba- to the... Ca- what? Wait, welcome back to the Casually Fit Podcast. Thank you, David. <laughs> it's your girl, Nicole. <laughs> and David. And uh, if you guys haven't seen us before, well, we're Casually Fit. We just like to talk about everything Casually Fit. We're yeah. not like super fit people, but you know what? We like health and fitness. Yeah. That's our kind of motto. Anyways, so this is actually, if you guys have listened to us before, this is our first episode back in the new year. Oh, Woo! yeah. Yeah, we're starting off 2023. 2023. Yeah, in how exciting. House. So we figured <laughs> that today's episode, we kind of talk about New Year's resolutions, how you can kind of achieve them and share our New Year's resolutions with you guys. I figured like... And how we're going to try and keep them. Exactly. But I figured sharing our New Year's resolutions and how you can kind of achieve them might give you guys some aha like kind of moments like, oh, I kind of like that idea. Maybe I can apply it to myself. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of you guys already have some New Year's resolutions. I mean, I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions that are like lose 20 pounds in like five days or like you need to lose weight. Like you don't need to lose weight. You don't need to like look a certain way. Like if you want to do it, cool that's your total thing but i really hate how there's this like whole health and fitness stigma that kind of gets erupted at the beginning of the year Mm -hmm. um and then people make fun of people who go to the gym at the beginning of the year and then die out so it kind of really sucks when people are like that but you know what if you're going to the gym for the first time this year good on you don't let anyone push you out of the gym are the gyms going to be full yes but everyone deserves to be there and if you're committing to make a change for your health good on you exactly like everyone's that, allowed in the gym everyone's allowed in the gym and you know what you're okay to be there and if you want to work on your health cool and whatever you decide to do for your news resolutions cool maybe we can maybe inspire you i mean we don't have like super insane things i think but no i think it's pretty good things but the thing is they're pretty like i think achievable yeah i didn't so. want to go too hard this year this year i just really want to enjoy the year because i feel like last this past year was just very insane <laughs> yeah like being being new parents was very insane like it was yeah. just like mind-blowing yeah so i of. feel like the whole year was just like a huge just trying to figure out life and being a parent whereas this year yep. i feel like we kind of have a grasp on things and that we can kind of excel a little bit more and just be ourselves mm-hmm. anyways that's what i'm trying to say but before we get into that let's kind of do like a little end of the year how it's been going for ourselves so david take it away okay so (laughs) honestly end of the year kind of ended off pretty damn good not gonna lie for you yeah Yeah, for me because so on instagram there was um this influencer i guess it's uh, melody alard yeah melody Melody alard yeah so i guess how you say in english yeah but she she's She's, honestly from quebec yeah, but she's got a lot of followers. Yeah. She's like over 100K, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So she was doing like a 12 days of, of like Christmas giveaways. Like yeah. a lot of people do it. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, like honestly, at first I wasn't sure like if I should do it. But then Nicole tagged me in some posts. I was like, oh, actually, yeah, I'll try. Yeah. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have won anything. Well, because I follow her. She's kind of cool. She's got yeah. some nice stuff. Fun so stuff. I ended up. Uh, I think it was day 11. It was to win like a year of like programming for DecaComp, which mm-hmm. is a CrossFit programming 
kind of if you're into crossfit pat vellner yeah like like his patrick coach. vellner his coach runs deca yeah gym in honestly it's like an hour away from us mm-hmm. but uh yes yeah, so she does online programming so right now i won a year of no programming way. So I'm honestly kind of excited about that. I haven't gotten the email to sign up and do everything, but I'm th- I'm thinking it's going to be like after the holidays. Yeah, yeah, just because everyone's off and stuff. So yeah. honestly, really, really excited about that. I am so excited. So it's going to help me with my goals this year. And low key, me too. Yeah, I've been looking for a program, and I was debating because Deca was one of them. Or that hard work picks off or proven or whatever. I'm glad you kind of won because now I can do my programming. Yeah. So we'll both get better. Yeah. That's cool. How was she, How you doing? <laughs> how was she? Not that great. <laughs> Not great at all. <laughs> um, I think last time we, I posted. Oh, yeah. When I was posting this, I was sick. Yep. Just getting over it. So... Um, your girl had meningitis. Who has meningitis? I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. I feel like that's a like, thing I that knew was a like men- eradicated and then came back. <laughs> Same. Like, I was like, that's, it's impossible that I have meningitis. And mm-hmm. well, apparently your girl got meningitis, viral meningitis. Mm-hmm. No idea how I got it. No but idea. guess what? I didn't get it. Cove didn't get it. Thank gosh. Thank <laughs> gosh. Okay. So... <laughs> There's a whole journey behind this, and I'm going to try and explain it quick, or else we're going to be here all night. Um, so, I had my flu shot on a Friday, and then we had the weekend pass, and then that Monday, I had a migraine, a really, really bad migraine. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that sucks, you know? And then I woke up Tuesday morning. We were sitting on the couch. It's like 5.30, because that's when we both wake up. And I was like, fuck, I have a really bad migraine, and my body hurts so bad, and I'm aching. Like, I was like, telling david i'm like i really don't feel good Mm -hmm. he's like should i stay home and i was like no no i'll go to work anyways he left for work as soon as he left i threw up and i was like okay i can't take care of cove (laughs) by myself so i called him and he came home and then but like i was like two blocks away so i didn't make it too far yeah um so he came home he took care of cove and i was just in bed sick and i was like okay i have the flu and i was like there's no way i got the flu from the flu shot like it just doesn't really work like that like it's been like over three days like usually if you have symptoms it's within the first 48 hours Mm -hmm. whatever i'm like what the hell is going on with me maybe i my immune system was weak so i had the flu but i had these really really bad migraines and then day three or four or whatever Mm -hmm. i started having this really stiff neck and i was like oh it must be because i'm sleeping like like because i was in bed i couldn't even get out of bed i was throwing it was just bad it was bad i wasn't eating nothing um and so i thought it was because i was lying on my side too much so my neck was all stiff so i started lying on the back of my head which made it worse and then um we were down here we're sitting down here i think because i was i was having these moments where like if i was sitting up i was feeling better (laughs) so i was like okay maybe it's something like my neck's just stiff so that's why i'm getting migraines more um and if I sit up more because I'm not lying down, then I won't feel as bad. And we were sitting here and I saw a TikTok that was like, oh, if you have like a stiff neck and a migraine, you could have meningitis. And I was like, what the hell? Like, mm-hmm. th- this is like similar symptoms to me. And I was like, OK, that's weird. Maybe it's not the flu. Maybe it's something else. But I had dropped a barbell on the back of my neck like a week and a, a week, like a week before, like really not well. Like I was doing a push press behind my head and the barbell slipped out of my hand and like caught me really bad on the back of my neck so I was like maybe I have an injury from that and it's coming up long story short um I ended up that I think it was that night that I thought I was like okay I'm on the mend whatever went to bed and Mm -hmm. I was just bad like I couldn't sleep like I was trying to like lie so my neck wasn't awkward because I thought you know I was just it was stiff um and then like it got worse and I was vomiting. Sorry, well, you came, TMI. Yeah, that's it. Like you you came downstairs. Then. Yeah, I was trying to like stay like because I, I woke up because I heard you like yeah, vomiting. I came downstairs because I thought if I sat up, like sat up on the like because I have like a cushion here on the floor. If I sat up on the floor and had like my back against the couch, it would take the pressure off my neck so I'd feel better because that's how I thought I was feeling better before. Uh, long story short, 
didn't and it was getting really really bad and I just like had no food in me was super dehydrated so that night I was like I need to go to the hospital like I mm-hmm. I have to go to the hospital like I'm in really bad shape Tylenol wasn't working it was really bad anyways long story short my mother luckily took me to the hospital because you couldn't take because it was the middle of the night um and uh actually went through pretty quickly which if you guys are from Canada you know sometimes hospitals can wait can be very long um luckily they put me through very quickly I was very dehydrated and they just gave me some pain stuff and come to find out it most likely was viral meningitis because they could tell a little bit through my blood but the way that they could officially tell me if I had viral meningitis was by like picking your uh, spine yeah like putting a needle into my spine and extracting some um liquid and then then they would just tell me yes you have it but then the only way to get rid of it is to just take Advil and like rest. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I did. I took Advil and I rested. And then a couple of days later, I started feeling better. Yeah. So that's how. So um, it was a week from hell. Yeah. And I just started feeling better right before Christmas. So luckily there was that. Luckily no one else got sick. Mm. It was just not fun. It was really hard. And David had to parent all by himself. Mm-hmm. Like no help nothing because i literally could not get out of bed i could lie in bed feed cove a couple times that, that was, was it. it but yeah so it was like wake up in the morning like 6 a.m he would wake up at 6 a.m yeah he was going through a phase where he was waking up super early too so it was like from 6 a.m till what like 6 30 yeah 6 37 almost like yeah. everything i was like honestly at some days i was like just get through it yeah it was, I mean, it, it was rough. single parenting is very hard. Mm-hmm. And I know like I'm going to do this a lot too because you travel for work. Um, it's no joke. It's really no joke. And any single parents out there, hats off to you mm-hmm. because it definitely isn't easy. Yeah. But like when you're feeling better, just that little like break yeah. felt amazing. <laughs> yeah. It really makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so other than that, I'm doing okay. Just got hit with my period. So that's fun. Um but you know what? We're powering through this shit, right? That we are. Because we're in the new year. We're doing this shit. Anyways, before we get into the thing, let's do a little recommendation at the beginning of the year. So, David, why don't you do some recommending? Okay. You go. Okay. So, my recommendation of the new year, honestly, declutter for the new year. Yes. Honestly, that puts, I find, like, because we Can we kinda, declutter clo- our, more of our clothes? Because I just want to uh, get rid of a bunch of clothes. I kind of started today, but then... Stop. Stop. <laughs> but, um, honestly, yeah. like, because we kind of just got rid of all our Christmas stuff and whatnot. It felt good. Yes. <laughs> I felt like there was so much clutter because of Cove's new toys. And, like, we didn't get him a lot of toys. Like, he didn't get much, but he got new toys. And then, like... The Christmas stuff felt like just, I love Christmas. I love Christmas mm-hmm. stuff, but something about this year and all the Christmas stuff felt so cluttered. Yeah. Th- this this year, like Christmas felt weird. Yeah. It didn't feel like Christmas. I, I don't know, know if any of you guys felt like that, but for me, it just felt weird. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, my recommendation is derma planning. And David's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> derma planning is like for girls when they shave their faces. Mm. Like, you oh, know those well, little those, razors? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like dermaplaning razors mm. to shave your face. Oh my god, my face always feels so much better after I do it. And I'm like, why don't I do this more often? It's like what? It takes a little layer of skin off? It takes like the little white hairs mm. off your face. Like not the, like the very fine hairs, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It, like it doesn't come back like dark or coarse or anything because mm. it's not like razoring it. But it's like the little thing. I love it. And I'm kind of sad I didn't start doing this earlier. <laughs> and I just find it just makes my skin feel so much better. So if you're ner- if you're not sure to try, try it. It's it feels so good. <laughs> a little bit of self care in 2023. All right, so I think we should get into our resolutions and talking about resolutions. Mm-hmm. Do you? I think we'll talk about some of the steps to achieve our resolutions. Okay. I think that was how we're gonna start, and then after we'll share our resolutions to give some people some little aha moments and hope that maybe to inspire them for some little new year's resolutions sure so david do you want to share the first one uh the first one is to write down your goals and kind of like do like a vision board love a vision board of your goals yeah writing down your goals just kind of i find solidifies it you know you're Mm -hmm. like oh yeah like i want to do more running no write it down i'm gonna do more running what are you gonna do 
make a vision board. If you mm-hmm. want to like create a business, create a vision board. If you want to manifest things, create a vision board, all exactly. that shit. I find that so good. And then you can put your little points of like how you're going to achieve these steps and whatnot. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. Um, the next one is surround yourself with people that align with your goals. This is a huge thing mm. and actually something I've been looking into. It's like the f- five closest people to you are like kind of like how 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 you are, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like how you make your money, how you see the world, things like that. Mm. So if you start hanging around with people who align with your goals, like if you want to do, I'm going to use running as an example again. If you want to do more running, then align yourself with people around you that do running because if you're around people who don't do running you're not going to do running it's like if you're going to go to the gym yeah you know what i mean that's true i mean you don't have to have anyone to go to the gym but surround yourself with people who are going to go to the gym if you're not going to surround yourself with people who don't go to the gym then you're not going to go to the gym exactly that's what i believe and honestly i try and do that when i leave for work jobs like i try and see who's going Mm -hmm. on that job to kind of be like okay if he's going, well, then I know that I'm able to work, go out. To work out, go to the gym. Because a lot of people that I work with, mm-hmm. like, don't really go to the gym, don't like to be healthy. So I like to align myself with those, with the healthy people. Mm, smart man. <laughs> yeah. The next one is don't pick too extreme. Like, the, your goals, don't make them too extreme. Yeah. Because sometimes if you make them way too extreme, and you end up getting burnt out i find yeah i completely agree with that um like sometimes like let's say like for some reason like you just want like i want to lose 100 pounds like i find that's like an extreme yeah kind of weight to lose yeah which is it's like if you need to lose that then it's kind of i would say like almost like like if you if you've Hmm. never lost weight yeah start off as like maybe 10 or 20 pounds instead of just doing 100 pounds yeah you know and then you get the hang of it and then eventually be like okay well in the next three months i want to lose 10 pounds we have another thing of doing like short-term and long-term goals Mm. so it's almost like doing like a short-term goal of 10 pounds and a long-term goal of 100 pounds yeah Doing like an extreme, it's almost like saying, I would say personally, like an example of doing too extreme is like saying you're going to do a triathlon when you've never ran a mile in your life. Yeah. you got to build yourself up somewhere mm-hmm. kind of thing. That can be a long-term goal is a, tri- a triathlon yeah. one. Or doing like, yeah, or a marathon or yeah, just... Yeah, whatever. That can be a long-term any, goal, yeah. but work on a 5K run or mm-hmm. a mile run, whatever. You know what I mean? The next one is to choose an affirmation. I love this one mm-hmm. and I am excited for this one. My affirmation actually for the past like two or three years, two years has been to be unstoppable. Mm. But this year I'm changing it up. I'm going to be saying, believe in the impossible, believe in the, believe in the um, impossible. Why can't I say that? (laughs) Why are my words so bad tonight? Anyways, believe in the impossible is my saying affirmation for the year. Like truly just think about all the things that I can do that may seem impossible, but I'm going to fucking do them. Mm -hmm. What is yours? I remember I kind of like I I heard this like saying on TikTok a while ago Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, man, that like really resonated. And it's Mm -hmm. and it's like if anyone can do it, like, why can't I? It's true. Like a lot of people can do so many things like, yeah, why can't I do it? Like, why can't I build the shed? Why can't I change my own tires? For anything, though, if yep. you want to build a business, if you want to drive a fucking Maserati, if anyone uh-huh. can do it, why can't I? If that guy who's driving Maserati can do it, why can't I? Exactly. You know? Just got to think like that. Honestly, yep. I mean, Maserati is like an extreme example, but mm-hmm. like you said, build a shed, change your tires. All You know what? Everyone can learn those things. Exactly. If one person could do it, we can all do it. Mm-hmm. We just have to believe in ourselves, believe in, in the, the impossible. impossible. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is make steps, like make small steps to your goal. Yeah. That's honestly like we can say like, okay, I want to run a 10K, you know, but how are you going to do it? Are you going to start running 1K, 5K, mm-hmm. 8K? Like you can't just run 10K. I mean, you could, but probably wouldn't work out if you're not yeah. a runner. However, making those steps really makes a difference. Even if you want to build a business or something like that, 
find out the steps that you need to do. What initial steps do you need to do to build that business? Market research, what products you need, whatever, like whatever you're building. Mm -hmm. What are those steps that you need to have? So it's pretty much just to start the steps, the ground, like, because there's so many steps to achieve your goal. Yeah. So every, like, you got to start off with the foundation yeah and then go from there yeah it's exactly like the typical one of how are you going to lose weight like you want to lose like let's say 20 pounds how are you going to do it how are you going to change your diet are you going to exercise like what are you going to do anyways the next one is long-term and short-term goals which we talked Mm. just briefly about which is true long-term and short-term goals are efficient and will help you you know achieve those those short-term goals will help you achieve your long-term goals if that all makes sense that it does Anyways, those are our little quick kind of uh, ways that you can kind of achieve your goals in yours, in the new year, in, in your new, new year, year resolutions. Well, I can't freaking, <laughs> sorry, my brain is just a jumbled mess. Mm. Anyway, so now we're going to share our, uh, what do you call it? New resolutions. Year's resolutions. Oh, actually, we did this thing. Okay, so there's this thing going around on Instagram. It's by Jeanette Kinhair. I don't know. J- oh, I think e- it's Jen N- Atkin hair. Jen Atkin hair? Yeah. Anyways, everyone's been doing it, and it's like your kind of intentions for the year. So maybe you guys can answer these two in the comments down below if you want. Mm-hmm. So the first one is, I want to quit dot, dot, dot. And you kind of answer these. So I want to quit, and I wrote overthinking and letting fear control my thoughts. I'm going to quit that. Mm. What is yours, Dave? Mine is worrying about the future. I agree. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't want to, I it, sometimes we're too much in our head and it's uh-huh. so freaking annoying. That's it. The next one is I want to learn and I put more about business, marketing, and finance. I want to um, learn more about that this year. I want to learn how to run more efficiently. Mm, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. These all tie into a lot of our New Year's goals too. Yeah. So the next one is I want to try and I said to try and run a 10K. Mm. Haven't done that. I don't even think... I've ever fully ran a Same. 10k. I don't think I've ever. So that's. I want to try. I want to try and attempt that this year. That's my goal. That sounds good. Yep. Mine is. I want to try a in-person CrossFit competition. Ooh, mm-hmm. that sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay. The next one is. I want to have and I wrote more family time. And mine was the same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like that. I feel like. I just sometimes it becomes a blur and especially with my job I tend to like Mm -hmm. you know um use like family work during family time because I don't have that much time so it'd be nice to have more family time oh my god sorry guys (laughs) excuse me okay the next one is I want to start and I wrote doing more yoga I -hmm. took my first yoga class uh the other day well not my first I've done yoga before but I took a yoga class in that's like local to her area. And honestly, I fell in love. It felt so, so good. <laughs> yeah. What's yours? What do you Mine want to start? It's kind of like yours, but it's to work on my mobility. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind I mean, of... that's that's initially why I wanted to do yoga is to mm-hmm. help with my mobility. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. The next one is I want to continue to, and I put grow my business. Mm-hmm. Mine is to work on my fitness and to stay healthy. Ooh, that's a good one. Or to continue being healthy. To continue being healthy. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the next one is, I'm going to stop. And I wrote, letting others' opinions stop me. I tend to do that very often. Mm -hmm. Is that whenever I share something with someone and then they share their opinion and then they don't share a great opinion, I tend to overthink and stuff. And then, yeah, it stopped me before. I'm not letting that stop me anymore. Yeah. Like on, I wrote the same thing just because. Oh, yeah. I tend to do that sometimes too. So yeah. I need Fuck to stop Fuck other that. people's opinions. Stop sharing. You know what? Let's just stop sharing our things with people and just fucking do them and then show people at the end. Because mm-hmm. fuck people's opinions. It's so annoying because sometimes people's opinions just ruin everything. Like it just exactly. makes you feel like shit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. The next one is I want to be and then I put an inspiration. So I want to be mm-hmm. an inspiration to... All of you guys and everyone who follows me. Mm. I want to be a role model for Cove. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so now let's get into some of our New Year's resolutions. All right, Dave, do you want to sh- start with sharing your New Year's resolutions with us? Yeah, well, should I just write, say them all? Yeah, well, you know what? Let's go through yours, and then we'll go through mine. Okay, so here are my New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I have about five. Okay. So my first one is to incorporate mobility. Which we because, just talked about. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, my goal is to kind of give myself at least like three times a week just a little five ten minutes Mm -hmm. once after cove's down just to kind of when we have chill time yeah yeah, when i'm watching tv yeah just kind of do that cool and so my second one is to get a promotion at work fuck yes yeah gotta bust that glass ceiling (laughs) that's not really think for guys no it's not (laughs) But, I understand your intention behind that, Dave. Yeah. No, it's just to... you got to... No, no, it's not that you're busting through the glass ceiling. It's because your job is in, like, um, sections. So, yeah. you know what? Fuck that. You're going to bust through to the next section. That's it. That's what how we're going with this shit. Exactly. And because I'm so young, I'm pretty much, like, will be the youngest, oh pretty my much, gosh. I think, to... Be in that position? Yeah. That'd so. be fucking cool. Mm-hmm. You're going to get that shit, Dave. I know. That's how we're going it. It's going there. <laughs> okay. Your next one? My next one is to run a 5K in 25 minutes or less. I will not be running with you on that one. <laughs> nope. But I'll be trying. That's okay. That's good. I'm yeah, happy for I gotta, you. I got to try my baseline, see what it is, mm-hmm. and go from there. My next one is to be more present. I yeah, like that. To kind of live more in the moment yeah. and not take kind of like time for granted, I guess. Yep. Because, like, sometimes, uh, like, I'm playing with Cove and stuff. And, like, so I see him, like, he's, like, independently playing. And then I just, like, I just realize, like, oh, like, I'm on my phone. Yeah. And I'm, like, oh, man. like It's almost like we have an addiction to our phones. and I I noticed that, like, myself. It's gone and bad. Yeah, I really fucking hate it. That's a New Year's resolution. We got to stop being addicted to our phones. I think that's that's it. Why, like, I want to try to be more present just because it's easy to just mind. It's TikTok. Yeah. Like mindlessly scroll on TikTok. Oh, fuck. I hate so, it. Yeah. I agree yeah. with you on that one. And my last one is cons- consistency in CrossFit. Mm. So I think it's the universe telling me that I need to be more consistent with the new programming that I got. <laughs> so it's very possible. So we'll check back in next year. It sounds good. To see if... No, we got to check back in at the... Yeah, at the end of the year. Yeah. yeah. If... I actually stayed consistent. <laughs> of all these goals, guys, yep. you got to remind us at the end of the year, we got to come back to these mm-hmm. and see if we accomplish them. Exactly. Is that all it? Yeah, that is all mine. Okay. So mine is, my first one is to grow my business. And I talked about that before. I really do want to kind of mm-hmm. expand my business into a couple different things. But yeah, I have like a lot of little goals within that, like little steps, which we talked about. So I do want to grow my business. The next one is to have a better kind of mental balance and be more present as well. Mm. I just find like I'm always, especially with like my business and stuff, I'm always worrying about the future, what's happening, the past, like a lot of things that I've done in the past. I'm like, oh, well, like, for example, like if I have a creative idea, like an idea for a video or a TikTok or whatever, and if it's similar to one in the past, I'll be like, oh, it didn't do that great. Maybe I won't do that idea. Or like, um, or I'm worrying that like in the future, like this won't do good or this won't, I got to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. I need to be more present and make decisions in the presence, like make the decision uh, for my future, like as if I was my future self. Mm -hmm. So I see myself as this business owner, then I should be thinking as a business owner and not worrying about the decision or the things that happened in the past, the past is done. There's nothing I can do to change it. So I got to let it go. So that being said, I just want to... Uh, just be way more present and not worry about the past and all those things. Um, just have better mental balance and not being in my head so much is what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say. Anyways, so the, also the next thing is to do more yoga and things out of my comfort zone. So yoga mm. is definitely out of my comfort zone. That is something that I'm actually not great at. I love to weight lift. I love weight, like lifting heavy weights. And when I was doing the yoga class, I'm so used to like technique and like I need to do it like this and this and this and I mean yoga can be very technical but at the same time it's not like it's what you can do I guess Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it it's a little bit different but kind of the same and so I was like I need to be like it's more like 
I'm very competitive when it comes to CrossFit and weightlifting and things like that and just numbers and weights and things like that. Whereas yoga is like, do your flow, do your thing, do what your body can mm-hmm. do that day. So it will be nice to incorporate more yoga so I can have more flexibility, but it's also doing something out of my comfort zone that I'm not used to is what, you know, I want to do more in 2020. That is a good, uh, good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next one is to do a squat clean of 200 pounds and deadlift of 305. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hoping to get my 305 deadlift. I'm very close to it. I got 285. 285, yeah. And uh, failed to 305. But you know what? I got 285, which I'm not mad about. I was hoping to get the 305, but you know what? I'll get to the 305 this year. Oh, yeah. I think if I didn't get sick, I would have maybe well, gotten there. you got your ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> all of December. I did. So um, you can't so really I didn't count get it, that. I, can, I didn't get it technically. You also got your ass kicked all in the October. Yeah. It's just <laughs> been really hard. Anyways, so. so I'm hoping that I'll reach that goal in 2023 and hopefully get a squat clean of 200 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you're going to bust that goal of 305 deadlift. And I'm really hoping. So. You know what, though? Okay. I showed you this morning, but guys, listen to this. So... One of my friends on YouTube and Instagram, Bethany Robinson, I think she goes by Sporty Beth CrossFit on Instagram. Well, she does it on YouTube. Anyways, that being said, she just did her like uh, lifts or whatever. PR cycle, PR, I guess. Yeah, exactly. She got, what, 409, I think it was, on a deadlift. She is so mm-hmm. fucking strong. Holy shit. I saw it. I was like, oh, fucking goals. I am obsessed mm-hmm. with her lifting. It is insane. And a 330 back squat. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. We were both freaking out over here. Oh, we were like, oh. We are fangirling. Anyways, mm-hmm. insane. Goals. Okay. So my next, my last one is to run a 10K. So I want to do that plus do less than 10 minutes a mile. Mm. So I had kind of ran 1030 the last time I tried my mile time. Yep. Uh, that was more at the end of the running season. So I want to implement more running, do a 10K and also get less than a 10 minute mile. You got new shoes. Yeah, I got new shoes for Christmas, which he gave me. I'm so excited. I cannot mm. wait to break them in. Unfortunately, can't really break them in now because, well, winter here and Snow. a little bit, yeah, a little hard. Um, but I can't wait to break them in. And I was so, so excited mm-hmm. to break them in. But I finally got a pair of shoes because my other running shoes were so worn out that they were, it was like running on nothing. Like there was no cushioning, nothing. So it'll be nice to have cushioned shoes that I can run in and, you know, feel mm-hmm. more springy and. <laughs> So those Get are that all, 10K. yeah. So those are all my New Year's resolutions, and we would love to hear your new New Year res. Why well, can't I fucking speak? <laughs> Anyways, we would love to hear your New Year's resolutions down below. If you guys are watching on YouTube, if you guys aren't watching on YouTube, you can always go to our YouTube page and share your New Year's resolution. Yeah. Or you know what though? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting hyped, guys. If you're listening to this, let it like take a snap yourself a picture and mm-hmm. share with us. Tag Casually Fit Pod on our podcast on Instagram. Tag us in your thing and we would love to share it. I'd love to see where you guys are listening to the podcast. Mm-hmm. Usually I'm in the car or going for a walk or at home cleaning whenever I'm listening to a podcast. Mm-hmm. So just snap yourself and share it with us. Follow us on Instagram and snap a, you listen to us. And, you know, if you want snap and listen to of you listen to this podcast right now and share your news resolutions we'd love to hear it sounds good yeah that sounds perfect do you have anything to add david i feel like i've just been powering Mm. through this podcast no i i think i think everyone's gonna get their resolutions this year (laughs) it's gonna be a kick-ass 2023 fuck 2022 it's done it's done goodbye 2022 it's time to focus on the present and to kick ass in 2023 exactly everyone's gonna thrive i feel like you're honestly we're having like this yin and yang energy like i'm fucking hyped and you're just like okay guys 2023 mm-hmm. is gonna be the best i'm like yeah fuck yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> okay <laughs> that being said we're gonna end off the podcast i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope so if you did on youtube give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and if you're watching on spotify or apple don't forget to review us that really helps mm-hmm. us quite a bit and we hope that you guys enjoyed your 2022, enjoyed your holidays. Let's get on the shit. Let's fucking start 2023 with a kick-ass kick to the face. Hell yeah. I don't, that made no sense. Okay. We like you. Anyways. Oh, I can't speak. I'm done. I'm <laughs> okay. fucking done. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>